This time of the quick speed shop, I'm finishing up the Model A hot rod shop truck chassis. We're going to get it ready for paint. All right, so I've finished up the front of the frame here. Been working all day. I've been busy uh, welding up holes and filling things and fitting things. My hair is all crazy. i got to get a haircut. But I'm working on this. Just want to show you the front of this. Here, uh, I finished welding up the uh, steering bracket for the uh, Vega box. I got a little gusset here tied in good, and then it's also welded on the inside of the frame. But I wanted to show you what I've been working on for the front cross member. When I uh, originally a Model A would have had a, a cross member with a with a kick in the bottom of it, and, and the spring would have been up about here, and it clear it clears the frame no problem. I've got a Posey's uh, drop spring here, which is two inches lower than stock. And I needed to notch the frame rail here to clear the spring because it's so low it would bottom out on the frame. So I made a new front cross member that's flat, which gave me about a, I don't know, inch and a half drop or so. And then with a two inch drop, two inch drop spring, things are getting kind of tight. So I've gone ahead and I've notched the frame down to the inner part of the original cross member, which I've grafted onto. And it's all riveted together still with the, the way the Ford did it. It's about a quarter inch thick here all the way around where the brackets are. So it's going to be plenty strong enough for the to hold the front suspension. So the front end's all buttoned up. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the frame over. i got to weld up a couple of spots on the top that I couldn't get from the bottom here. And then I've already got it all all the rust ground off these front original frame rails from the AA. I've got to hit the front here. And I'm going to DA the rest of the frame, get everything all, all uh, roughed up. And then I'm going to show you, we're going to bust out some Eastwood rust encapsulator and then Eastwood chassis black and paint this whole thing satin black with chassis black. Alright, here's what I'm going to use to paint the chassis on the truck. First thing I'm going to do is use Eastwood's rust converter, which will, when you spray it on the rust, it turns into this uh, black hard finish, which stops the rust. I'm going to spray that on the front of the uh, frame rails where it was original Model A truck frame that has rust in the pits and all that. I'm going to spray that on the, the front of that to stop the rust from going any further and, and to convert it. I'm also going to use this on the rear end assembly which has got a, a modern amount of rust on there. So I'm going to use first the converter on the most harshest rush part, rusty parts. So the second thing I'm going to use is rust encapsulator. I'm going to use this as a primer for the whole chassis. The rear half of the frame is brand new metal, but it's got a little bit of rust on it. I've hit it with a grinder real fast to rough up the surface with a uh, flap disc. And I'm going to use this over the original paint and on the new bare metal and over the rust converter. I'm going to spray the whole thing with a rust encapsulator kind of as a primer. And then the third top coat which will be stable and give it the sheen that I want is the chassis black and satin black. Basically the whole chassis will be all satin black and this is a epoxy fortified um, coating that will be good for the uh, chassis. It will be oil resistant, weather resistant and uh, hopefully it won't fade in the sun. Um, it should be UV stable as well but it will put a nice uh, satin black finish on the whole thing. So. Those are the three products I'm going to use. Rust converter, rust encapsulator, and then chassis black. Right, here we go, i got the rust converter ready. And I've already hit the frame to knock all the loose scale off. I use a flat disc to knock all the loose scale off. And then I wire wheeled uh, a lot of things. So I'm going to hit the rusty spots inside of here. I've already got some primer on my, my new cross member I made, so I'm not going to get it on that. I'm going to hit all the rusty spots from uh, from here forward on the frame rails and then the inside of the frame horns and then any new bear steel like these uh, mounts here I'm going to just hit with the encapsulator because there's not any rust to convert. So I'm going to shake this up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and see how it lays down. Put my rust breeder on. Look, look, I am your father. Come to the dark side of the forest. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Aha! Let's 
just gonna spray it on a wet here on the on the rusty part. It goes on clear, but as it as it converts to rust, it turns black. It already looks like it's getting a little dark here. I'm just going to coat the, uh, the rusty metal. But I'm going to let this set up overnight here and uh, come back and check it in the morning when it's all cured. I think it takes four to six hours, it says, to cure fully. On here, where is it? Four to eight hours to cure fully. So I'll let it sit in here. I had it warmed up in here. It'll it'll dry overnight. It'll be fine. So I'll let it set up, and then we'll be on the next step, which is the rust encapsulator. All right, so I'm almost ready for uh, the rust encapsulator on the frame. I took my DA with 80 grit and I sanded it all down. You can see where it's all white here. I originally painted this with like a real heavy alkaline primer that I brushed on and I brushed on black rust-oleum over the top of it. So I had probably a 16 inch, inch of paint on here at least. So I took the DA and I ground down through all the brush strokes and I sanded it down into the white primer and smoothed it out. It's got a lot, a lot smoother surface now on the inside and the outside and I DA'd all the new steel down here and I got everything roughed up with 80 grit. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rust encapsulator. I'm going to shoot this whole thing flat black with the rust encapsulator. In the meantime, I also got my drive shaft back from the uh, the dry shaft place. I had them put a new tube on it, lengthened it to uh, 31 inches, yoke to yoke, and they put two new U-joints in it, and um, it's got a brand new tube on here and the existing yokes that I took in there. So, brand new dry shaft, ready to go. I'm going to clean this up. It's got oil all over it. I'll clean this up and uh, paint this up too while I'm at it. All right, bam, there we go. I've got the rust encapsulator all on here. The whole underside and both inside and outside of the frame are painted. So what I'm gonna do next is I gotta wait for this to uh, set up where I can touch it. It'll probably take like an hour or two. Then I'm gonna flip it around the other side and uh, just DA the top of the rails and hit the rest of the top of it with a rust encapsulator. And then this will be, I'll leave it, let it sit all night and they need six to eight hours to cure fully. And I'll let it sit in here and dry. Then tomorrow, I'm going to get out the chassis black and I'll chassis black the whole thing tomorrow and then let it sit and dry. So hopefully this thing will be all painted and ready to go and I can start reassembling. Well, bam, there we go. I've got all the rust encapsulators sprayed top and bottom. This thing is all ready to go. I'm going to put a fan on it overnight. And hopefully uh, it's a little chilly. It's about 60 degrees in here. It says it works best 70 to 90 degrees. And it's taking a little bit longer to dry than I th than the can says it's oh, so I want to make sure I'm gonna have air moving over all night to try to get it to speed up the process and tomorrow I'm still in the cure window of not having to scuff this but tomorrow I'll slam a coat of uh, the satin chassis black on it and then the chassis will be all done and I've just got a couple of things I got to add on later like a brake line bracket over here and some other things, but I can I can just touch up the paint when I weld those on. But it'll be nice to get this all buttoned up and painted up and, and down on here, and then I can set it back down and start working on the suspension. I got the fan going and I'm carrying some of my action over there. Let's talk about what I've learned from this this Eastwood three-step process here. Uh, the first thing, the rust converter, you want to use this on heavily rusted metal like on the picture on there. And I had uh, bare metal, shiny bare metal with some rust. I sprayed this over the whole thing. It says not to put on shiny metal. Well, that's true because 
it didn't adhere to the shiny metal and I had to sand that part off. It does stick to the rust and I think if you did a heavily rusted piece, like I'm going to be trying this on the rear end uh, for the truck which is heavily rusted, I think it'll uh, work better and turn everything black. But don't get it on bare metal like it says in the directions. Other than that it did turn the pits uh, black like it says. The best part of this process in my opinion is the, uh, the rust encapsulator. This goes on, this is the flat black that was on the frame, and it dries super fast and it coats the whole thing. It makes a really good primer, it makes a good hider. It seals in other uh, types of materials, like I had uh, some original paint and primer on there. It sealed all that in. And it also sealed in some, I had some self-etching primer, which the chassis black cannot be used over self-etching self primer. It'll uh, not cure correctly. So if you have self-fetching primer, you can seal up here with a rust encapsulator. That seemed to work good. So this stuff seems to work great. So uh, I'm really happy with the rust encapsulator as a primer and a hider and a, uh, a sealer. Then the chassis black, I've just applied that to the frame. It's uh, looking like it's going to be a nice durable coating. Um, it hasn't cured yet. It says... Uh, four hour cure, full cure time, 12 to 24 hours, which if it's below 70 degrees, it's a lot longer than that because I tried some on the frame ahead of time when it was only about 62 degrees in the garage and it took way over 24 hours to set up and be uh, fully cured. So today while I'm painting the chassis, it's uh, about 75 degrees out and I got a fan blown on it. So I think that'll help it cure a lot faster, but it, like the picture on the front of the can, it does make a nice shiny uh, satin, black, uh, satin black original chassis look. So these are the three products I used. Hopefully they'll work good on the Model A Hot Rod Truck chassis for years to come. So there we go. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to wait and let it flash over. Then put a second coat of paint on the frame. And then uh, let it set for a day or two and it'll seal up. And then next time we'll start putting the chassis back together again. But... In the meantime, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to put a link in the description of the Eastwood products I used for this. And I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so tell your friends, hit the bell for the alerts, and as always, we'll see you again right here at the Quick Speed Shop.